Let me first thank you for having me here and thank you for this important conference and for associating the Africa, the, the Global Water Partnership for Africa with this conference. Let me begin by saying that over 300 million people in Africa do not have access to clean and safe drinking water. 700 million are without access to sanitation and the social and economic sectors are not getting all the water they need to, for, to perform optimally. This big shortage of water therefore impacts negatively on the health of the people of Africa for waterborne diseases and other water-related, sanitation-related problems are one of the major causes of health problems on the continent. Also that the shortage of water for the social and economic sectors are, in, are, are an impediment to the social economic growth and development of the continent. Africa, it is estimated that Africa will use 5% of GDP due to water insecurity. The problem exists primarily because of the inadequate investments in the development of the water sector on the continent. Water and sanitation investments in Africa tends between 10 to 19 billion dollars annually. This is the estimate. But the African Development Bank estimates that African countries will need 64 billion dollars annually to be invested to meet the 2025 Africa water vision, water security for all. The African Minister's Council on Water, AMCAO, estimated that countries will need 30, the continent will need $30 billion annually to be invested if we have to meet the 2030 SDG goals and targets on water. Both the estimates by ADB and the African Ministers for Water show that there are huge investment gaps to be filled. Appreciating this problem or this challenge, in 2016, a high-level panel on water convened by the UN Secretary General and the President of the World Bank underscored the need for African water, for an African water investment problem. Soon thereafter, the African ministers responsible for water welcomed the idea and directed relevant institutions on the continent to develop the Africa Water Investment Program. Following that directive, African Union Development Agency, NEPAD, the Global Water Partnership for Africa, the Secretariat of the African Ministers, Council on Water, the African Development Bank, and others set to work and came up with a proposed Africa Water Investment Program. The African Ministers for Water endorsed the program, and in February this year, the Assembly of Heads of State and Government of the African Union adopted the Africa Water Investment Program. So formally we have Africa Water Investment Program. Implementation of the program. The African governments have been on the are called upon to increase investments for the water sector in their respective countries. It is acknowledged that African countries are setting aside substantial reserves, substantial resources in the development of the water sector in their respective country. But it is not enough. Much more needs to be done. Therefore, they should do everything within their power to increase budgetary allocations for the water sector from own sources. The, on the other hand, increased donor support has also been underscored. It is needed. Donors' contribution in African countries is being appreciated highly or in the regions, districts and places where donors have extended support, it has made a huge difference and things look much better. But the truth of the matter is that very few donors are interested in supporting the, this critical sector. Even those who do, 
hope is not big enough. Our appeal to donors is for them to look at the water sector favorably as they do for health, infrastructure, and education. Ladies and gentlemen, good health for the people of Africa and elsewhere starts with and depends on the availability of clean and safe drinking water. Basic sanitation is the first line of defense against many infectious diseases. COVID-19 has emphasized that in no uncertain terms. Lack of running water for the people to wash their hands and puts hundreds of millions of people in Africa at great risk of contracting and spreading the disease. The Continental Water Investment Program is an innovative approach and a transformative program designed to respond to the need to close the investment gap in Africa. It is in the spirit of ensuring that the Africa Water Investment Program is implemented to the latent spirit that the African Regional Forum on, on Water on, on May 26 this year. African ministers and stakeholders reiterated the call for the establishment of the international high-level panel on water for Africa. The primary objective of the panel is to champion the African investment program, African water investment program, and explore ways to mobilize finance for its implementation and narrow the financing gap for water and sanitation in Africa to meet the SDG targets. I would like to use this opportunity to appeal for support for the establishment of the International High Level Panel on Water for Africa. A word of support from this meeting means a lot. The African Union Development Agency, the Global Water Partnership for Africa, the African Development Bank and Development Bank of South Africa have also been working on developing an innovative tool to support the implementation of the Africa Water Investment Program and water development in Africa. This, the tool is nothing other than the African Water Investment Program Water Investment Scorecard. The objective of developing this new tool is to assist African countries and stakeholders to track progress in resource mobilization and utilization, identify bottlenecks to enable, and to enable appropriate remedial action to be taken. Ladies and gentlemen, the African Investment Program, Waters, Water, or African Water Investment Program, offers new hope for Africa. It offers development partners, banks, and the private sector an opportunity to invest in climate resilient, gender sensitive water and sanitation investments that will contribute to social and economic growth and development and achieving SDG 4, SDG 6 in Africa. Everybody will be included and nobody will be left behind. Thank you very much. So there is uh, hope, uh, but if I hear you correctly, Mr. Kikvete, there's still a long way to go until the water investment gap in Africa can and will be closed. What then, in your opinion, are the game changers for investment in water and sanitation in Africa? You ended on a hopeful note there. Uh, what, what, according to you, are the game changers? We are now developing the new tool the invest, water investment scorecard to track progress that is being made or lack thereof, to, to, to identify bottlenecks and come up with proposals on what needs to be done to uh, remedial measures to be taken to, to improve or to, to address the challenges. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that as, 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 as something new. But also the fact that it has now been endorsed at the highest political level on the continent, the African Union Summit, Assembly of African Heads of State and Government, have now adopted the Africa Water Investment Program. It's a continental program now. You know, you, you need support at the highest level. My belief and my, my hope is that these African Heads of State and Government now, when they go back home, they will hit the call for increased investment for uh, uh, increased budgetary allocations for the water sector in their respective countries. And also, because we also have partners, we hope also partners would, would, now, would now give due attention to this important 
sector for growth and development, for the health and development of the people. Thank you so much uh, to the chair of the Glo Global uh, Water Partnership for Southern Africa, Yakaya Kekvete, for taking this time out to speak to us and for his insights on the challenges in Africa.